हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सी एस टू दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव बाय दिस टॉपिक प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल वी विल एक्चुअल स्टार्ट स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वॉट विल यू लर्न इन दिस लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल स्टडी about 8 bit register and 16 bit register present in microprocessor 8085 accumulator flag register and register pair stack pointer and program counter cpu registers of intel 805 are as follows by observing this table you can understand that there are two different types of register first is 8 bit register and second is 16 bit register in this uh, in this registers register a means accumulator flag register stack pointer and program count, counter is called as a special purpose register register b register c register d register e register h and register l is called as a general purpose register in 8085 microprocessor there are 6 8 bit registers b c d e h l one accumulator one flag register and two 16 bit register that is stack pointer and program counter the programming model contains six general purpose registers b c d e h l and this register can perform 16 bit operation by combining as b c d e and h l now we actual start with study of registers in 8085 first we will start with accumulator register a accumulator is the most important register in 8085 microprocessor the accumulator is a 8 bit register which is a part of arithmetic and logical unit we use register to store 8 bit data and perform arithmetic and logical operation on it let's see accumulator it is an 8 bit special purpose register of 8085 why we called it accumulator as a special purpose register because it has a some special functions accumulator has following special function first it has to private one the operand for any lu operation suppose example if we we are taking two inputs 20 and 30 we have to add these two data from this lu is one operand and 30 is one operand we have to perform addition that time we have to compulsory store one operand into accumulator so in this we will store 20 into accumulator and 30 into any temporary register temporary register means we can store 30 into any temporary register like register b register c register d register e register h and register l after performing addition we will get result 50 and the result 50 by default stored into the accumulator that is second functions it has to accumulate the result of lu operation so accumulator accumulate result of lu operation the third it also works as a wire register for input output access that is whenever a data is read from a input device it comes in accumulator and similarly output device gets data from a accumulator suppose if we are entering data suppose if we are entering data through a keyboard into a microprocessor microprocessor fetch that data microprocessor will fetch that data and store that data into the accumulator so the the data entered through a input devices comes into the accumulator after that 
microprocessor process that data he will perform uh, arithmetic or logical operation on that data after performing the operation the microprocessor store that data that uh, result uh, the result into the accumulator after that the accumulator pass that data that result to the output put device that's why we called the accumulator as a wire resistor for input output access because when we enter data through the keyboard to the microprocessor microprocessor will fetch that data uh, from keyboard and uh, store that da data into the in uh, into the accumulator after that accumulator uh, um, after that a microprocessor process that data he will perform any logical operation or any arithmetic operation after performing the operation microprocessor pass that data store that data into the accumulator after that accumulator pass that data store that uh, uh, give that data to the output device the second registers present in 8085 microprocessor are the general purpose registers B, C, D, E and H, L may be used as a 6-8-bit or as a 3-16-bit register depending on the instruction being executed. The 8085 contains 6 general purpose registers of 8 bits each named as a B, C, D, E, H and L. B, C, D, E, H and L can be used to store 8 bits of data or can be used to form a register pair to store 16 bit of data or to store 16 bit of address. The valid register pairs available are BC, DE and HL. The user cannot form a register pair of his or choice like a CD, BE etc. A few instructions use the B, C and D register pair as address pointer but normally they are used as a general purpose data registers. The third, the third register present in 8085 microprocessor is program counter. Program counter is also called as a special purpose register. It always points to the memory location of the next instruction to executed it al instruction to be executed. It always contains a 16-bit address. Let's see. Program counter. It always points to the memory location of the next instruction to be executed. It always contains a 16-bit address. Suppose if the instruction the current instruction which we are executing have the current instruction which we are executing have the memory location c208 h so program counter will point the memory location of next instruction So if the next instruction have the memory location C209 at that time the program counter will point the memory location C209 at. Fourth registers present in 8085 microprocessor is stack pointer. It is a special purpose address pointer that always points to the top of the stack in RAM. It is a 16-bit register. So we will uh, study first what is mean by stack. Stack is a reserve portion of memory where information can be stored or taken back under software control. The memory area is referred to as a stack area. Stack pointer is a 16-bit register used to define the stack starting address it always points at the top of the stack it is used to keep track of data stored on a stack the stack pointer is decremented after each stack write operation and incremented after each stack write read operation the stack pointer is loaded with the initial value by means of transfer type instruction 
the initial value must be the highest address of an assigned stack in memory the function of stack pointer is to point a memory location in the read write memory to hold the address of the most written sent stack entry to store binary information temporary during the execution of a program we will use the stack pointer in microprocessor the fifth register is flag register the most important register which shows the status of the result present in accumulator it contains five one bit flags containing cpu status information these flags are then used by conditional term call and return from subroutine instructions the flag register shows status of the final result that is carry is generated or not the result is positive or negative the result is zero or non zero the result is even or odd this all status is shown by the flag register in this lecture we learn that in 8085 microprocessor there is two types of registers first is 8 bit register and second is 16 bit register in microprocessor 8085 six general purpose register are present register b register c register d register e register h and register l and there there is three register pairs are present register pair bc register pair d and register pair hl accumulator is a most important register in microprocessor to perform arithmetical and logical operations or other operations flag register is a special purpose register which shows the status of the final result of each arithmetical and logical operations program counter and stoic pointer both are a special purpose register in which program counter points the address of next instruction and stack pointer points the address of data that newly added into the stack thank you